Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this has been here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new review. So uh, before I begin the episode, let me just wish all the mothers out there happy Mother's Day in the United States. Uh, Mother's Day is in two days, and I want to wish you all a Mother's Day to all to the moms, uh, whether you're a mom, an aunt, uh, a mom to a fur baby, uh, whatever the case may be, happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you for always supporting my channel. As I said earlier um, in a couple episodes ago, I'm not a huge fan of checking out the analytics, but I did check recently, and I'm proud to say that uh, all most 50% of my viewers are women. So thank you very much for um, uh, supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, also, uh, good news abounds because since last Friday, we have had yet again an entire uh, suitcase chock full of Mother's Day gifts uh, worth of subscribers. And so thank you very, very much. Uh, I, I, I still can't quite figure out YouTube because I don't get a lot of people commenting, uh, but I do get a lot of people subscribing. So thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these episodes with your friends. It really helps. If you are a Spanish speaker or a Portuguese speaker, uh, every week I also do episodes in Spanish and Portuguese, so make sure you check those out uh, as well. I also do, by the way, if you don't like these longer episodes and you found you came across this one, um, every week I do a short in one take episode in English and I keep it under four minutes um, and I just cut to the chase. So if you're very busy, you can check that one out. Um, and I'm still getting about 50-50 on the English side. Some people about 50% like the short version with no bells and whistles and then 50% like this one where we sit down. And as they say nowadays, we conversate. Uh, it's converse. Come on, we conversate. So you know that this is none other than uh, Santal Carmi. Ooh, look at that. I'm a real YouTuber, man. Come on. Uh, it is Santal Carmine. And here's what I want to say. Everyone has said that this one is similar to... Similar to... Baccarat Rouge 540. You know, I have to tell you, I think everything since like 2016 has been compared to Baccarat Rouge 540. Looks like Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, I think practically everything, somebody, at least one person has said like, you know, it smells like that. So I, I absolutely need to smell that at some point. Um, here's the thing. If you have stumbled onto this channel uh, for the first time and you would like to, because because you ran a search on this one, don't forget, this is a 2014 release, the uh, Santal Carmine. Bancarat Rouge 540 is a 2015 release. And so the question is not, is this a clone of Bancarat Rouge 540? The question is the opposite. Is Bancarat Rouge 540 uh -huh, a clone of this one? Yeah, you see? The plot thickens. So... Uh, this one, there's a lot, lot going on here. And let me just review the house really quick. Um, this is Atelier Cologne. And it just hit me actually because right before I started recording, I have done many, many of these uh, by, from this house. And so, so many, so many uh, that I really should put my own playlist now. Uh, so probably in the next week or so, I will do that because um, I have a lot of ateliers. One of the things they do is for $35, you can get a 16 sample set and then what they do is if you purchase one of the bottles, there's a code that comes with it. If you purchase one bottle, you get $35 off. So you essentially get 16 samples for free. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, the only bad thing is, I don't know if you can see, but uh, these do not have sprayers on them. You actually have to take them off and you have to put them, you have to douse them on your skin. And, and oh yes, you have to rub them in. Uh, even though uh, Al at Street Sense, Street Sense says that kills the molecules, so don't do that. I don't know if you, one of the first reviewers I ever watched uh, was Al, and he does not like it when you uh, rub uh, the fragrances um, uh, against your wrists, right? If you rub your wrists together, he doesn't want you to do that. He wants you to air it out. So uh, comment down below if you either learn from Al or if you actually um, rub the scent like this and rub your wrists together. So he, he, he doesn't like that. So uh, unfortunately, I had to do that. So I'm sorry, Al, if you're Al, if you're watching, you're not watching. If you're watching, Al, don't be a Mets fan, okay? Leave the dark side and come over to the Cubs. We're just better, all right? So that's that. So, so 
here's the deal with this house, right? Their big promotion is that they have close to all natural. So, and they actually give you the percentage here. So this one, for example, is ingredients of natural origin, pure perfume, 91%. So 91% of the ingredients in Centel, Carmine, are, are, are all natural. And so that if you're looking for a natural perfume, I'm sorry, natural ingredients in a perfume, either all or close to it, uh, then th this is your house as long as you don't mind reapplying because the longevity and the price for this house are, uh, they're quite high. That's, that's the downside. The good side is, or the upside is, wow, the fragrances that I've tested so far really, really smell quite nice. Uh, they just don't last as long as I would like. But hey, many people say, I don't mind reapplying, you know, I'll wear it to work. And then after work, I'll put it on. I get another five, six, seven, eight hours. I don't care if you are one of those people, you will like this house. I reviewed a lot now and, uh, I like the house overall. I really do. Uh, I will say quickly that each fragrance comes with a postcard and I've done a few giveaways actually, but unfortunately the giveaways have to be within uh, the U.S. Uh, can't even be to Canada. And so um, if you are out there and if you would like to receive uh, this postcard, I would love to send that to you anywhere in the world. Uh, that would be cool. And so send me a DM in Instagram at that cologne guy or leave a comment below and I'll, we'll, we'll figure out something uh, through email or something like that. But just let me know and I would love to send that uh, to you. A postcard uh, about Santal Carmine, especially if it's your signature scent. Uh, but uh, let me know. All right, so let's dive in on the notes. When it comes to the notes, you're going to get uh, an initial blast of saffron. Uh, after that, you're going to get um, white musk. And I got guaiac wood definitely in the heart. And I, I love, you know, that guaiac wood is one of my um, uh, favorite notes. And guaiac wood pretty much makes any fragrance great. Um, and so uh, I really like guaiac wood. And then after that, you're going to get cedar. Now, I will say this, I looked on Fragrantica and uh, I could pick up cedar easily, but this isn't just cedar. This is Texas cedar. So I'm not sure what makes it, you know, if it's just cedar from Texas, but it's specifically Texas cedar. So apparently it must be, maybe it must be just bigger. I, I don't know. So uh, there you have it. Now, when it comes to the overall feel though, I have to tell you, th this one in, in, in one word, I can tell you from me what this is. This fragrance to me, cozy. This fragrance to me is cozy. It is, it's, 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 it's comforting. It's cozy. It's, it's cuddling. It's hugging. It's, it's all of that. It's a very intimate, um, uh, fragrance. I, I really appreciate this one. Um, I actually really, really like it. It, it definitely has a very, uh, curling, curled up on the, on the couch, uh, you know, on a, on a cozy night watching TV, uh, feel to it. And, uh, and I certainly appreciate that. I, I will be sad to see this one go and I'm going to have to do this one a little bit different. So if you guys know, you follow my channel that when I do a review, I give it, um, out of five sprays. And then I put that number on me at the end. I, I won't be able to do that though. Will I, because I have to actually uh, put this on. Um, so without the prayer. So here's what I, I decided to do with this one for me personally on me. This is a three out of five sprays. I'm just going to let the cat out of the bag before the 10 minute mark. So all 43 people, uh, can, you know, find out now. So when it comes to this one, three out of five on me, Okay. But I would definitely, definitely want a bottle. Definitely get it. But on a woman, I would say this is a five out of a five. This is a five out of five fragrance for me. And I'm able to look past the longevity and I'll tell you why the longevity. Well, so let me get to projection longevity and siage. When it comes to longevity, you will get about four to six hours. Okay. But I will tell you this, and this is with just the, you know, dousing it on my skin, uh, as opposed to like full on sprays of the bottle, right? I got four to six, but that included, uh, walking. I went on a walk outside. I came back. It was about 45 minute walk. And even then the, the fragrance was still going strong. I've had fragrances that will do very, very well, but once you walk outside, uh, then it'll dissipate and go away. Uh, that was not the case. I came back home and I was still able to pick it up quite easily. So um, it's not as weak as people have suggested. 
Uh, this house is just not going to be, you know, an eight to 10 hour for you. It's just not, you just have to reapply. So I got four to six and the first hour, hour and a half, it's going to uh, stay about an elbow's length away. And then it is going to get closer to your skin, uh, for the, until you hit the four to six hour mark. Um, again, though, if you're looking for something that's very cozy, uh, very intimate, uh, then if you're, if you're calling this a hug or a, uh, you know, in a bottle, which is what it is, then you're not going to be looking for something that's going to be, um, an Uber projector, uh, as it were. So I don't, I don't mind that one at all. I really don't. Uh, especially if you put it, um, if you spray on your hair and, or in your clothes, you're going to get a little bit better longevity and that's the projection as well. Siage isn't going to be too much though. Again, if you're, if you're coming in and out of rooms and you're at a party, you're probably not going to get too many compliments on this one. Just again, because somebody's going to have to be relatively close to you. That's probably your goal though, for this fragrance. It's not really an office scent for me. Uh, it's not necessary and it's certainly not a clubbing scent. It's just a very, uh, a, a cozy, I hate to say nice, uh, pleasant. How's that? It's a very pleasant scent. Uh, and I really like it. So again, I would say three out of five sprays, uh, on me, but I would get the bottle. Um, and then definitely a, a, a five out of a five, uh, on, on women. I, I personally find this, okay. They're marketed unisex. I find this better on a woman's skin. I think that this is a little, this is a, a little too feminine for me and I'll, you can boo me on that one. Um, I, I would definitely get a bottle. I really like this one and I, I, I struggle with that bit. This is about as, as, as quote unquote for me as feminine as I would go in my collection. This is, I, I just think it works better on a woman's skin. So I would say as far as people owning and wearing this, especially as a signature scent, I would say probably what do you think, uh, 60, 40, 60% women, 40% guys, uh, age group, I would put 25 and up. 25 and up on the age group. And then we said, what, 60, 40, slightly leaning towards the feminine side on for the uh, gender. Now, uh, versatility again, to me, I, you know, I, I, there's nothing suggesting you couldn't wear this to the office, um, especially because atelier colognes don't project well. So that would, that would be an argument towards wearing it. I don't see this so much as a day scent. I do see it more as a, as an evening. Um, but you know, let me know if you uh, disagree when it comes to season, this one is basically anything, but you know, uh, I'm on Fahrenheit here, so I'm not sure about Celsius, but probably about 80 degrees and up, I would not wear. So I'd say all any season, but um, summer, even summer would do fine. It's just that it's going to dissipate quite a bit. So I would say, uh, it would definitely do better in the cooler, uh, seasons. I would say, you know, probably fall. If I had to choose one only, I'd say this is more of a fall scent for me, even into winter. Uh, that said, I'd say it's pretty much anything, but ultra, ultra hot. Okay. And we'll put uh, 80 degrees as the cutoff, uh, arbitrarily. All right. So there you have it, folks. Do you agree? If you have this one, let me know what you think. Please comment down below. Uh, let me know if you either if you agree, disagree, or have watched Al because I'm about to put on the sprays anyway. So Al, again, I am going to rub in the alcohol, uh, the, rub in the alcohol, <laughs> rub in the molecules, uh, even though he says not to. Uh, this is this is a three out of five for me, five out of five for the ladies. So I'm going to split the difference and give this a four out of five for this surprising release. Really, really enjoyed this one. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to have to, I won't have, I will have the sound effects in this, but I won't be able to obviously spray. So I will, I will go like this. All right. One, two, and Al, this is for you. Al here, talking street sense. All right. So there's uh, one, two, one on each wrist, and then I will go one on the side, each side of the neck. And I'll tell you what, I will put, I will, I will put a dab. Uh, you guys liked it when I used uh, the word dab once, so I will do that just for you. One on each side of the neck, and that is three out of five for me, five out of five uh, for the ladies, and we're going to go four out of five, split the difference. Absolutely would love to have this one in the collection. In fact, uh, they have a limited edition bottle I saw, which is actually right here because it's a clear bottle, but I see that this one apparently is the like a limited, it's real shiny, can't really, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, 
Uh, let me know again if you would like me to send you this postcard. I'm going to be doing uh, a few ateliers, maybe not in a row, but I'll be doing them over the summer. And each one comes with a very nice postcard, and I would love to send that to you. So please let me know if you have any uh, thoughts about future episodes. I hope you're doing well. Have a wonderful weekend, and always remember, Fragrance Marks, the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. <laughs>